Hey, what's up everybody? Hey, I just wanted to, to make a video real quick. I'm using GSA Capture Breaker to solve captures um, with Pygambot and it, it basically replaces death by captures. So you, if you own GSA Capture Breaker, you can solve um, unlimited captures for at no cost. And there's a high success rate just in the short test that I've done. I'm getting a 92% success rate. So it's pretty awesome. Um, so what you want to do, and I'm just going to take you through this start to finish, you want to exit Pygambot and you want to close GSA Capture Breaker. Oops, looks like there was an error. Oh well, we'll get close. So what you want to do is the first thing you have to do is open up GSA Capture Breaker. Don't open up Pygambot first because it just won't work. So it's going to open and then... Once it opens, it's almost there. There it is. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to go to options. And you can see how I've got mine set up if you want to pause this and, you know, copy these. But you want to make sure that run as a web server is checked. It'll probably already be checked. Just leave the leave all this stuff the way it is at your computer. It might be different for you, but this is what it is for me. But just leave it that way. Click simulate the following capture services. Click death by capture. You can do others. You can use uh, you could use this as a server to solve um, you know captures from all these for all these um, services. But you know in this case we want death by capture checked. And then I was trying to send failed captures out to another system. This doesn't work when you're using it with Pygambot. So you know that's just the way it is. Um, you know, whether you have this checked or not, it doesn't matter. And then none of this stuff really matters. What does matter though, is this box is probably going to be checked when you open this up. Cause I know that it was, uh, you know, I keep it checked generally. So make sure that's unchecked. You want to solve for accuracy. You know, when I'm building links with, uh, GSA search engine ranker, I'm running 500 threads. So you know, I'm usually somewhere around here to, to mix between speed and accuracy. But for this, we can only run 20 threads. So you just want it to be on the accurate side. Because, um, you, you know, there's no need to, uh, to have it solve fast because it's just such a, you know, it's only 20 threads. So you're fine. Um, I left all this checked. Of course, you can save recognized captures and you can also save unsolved captures. But... Because you can train uh, Capture Breaker too. I mean, it's a pretty sweet program. But I don't have this stuff checked. You can check it if you want to. I mean, it doesn't really matter. So th these are my settings. You click OK. Then you open up Pygambot. Just don't, don't, option up, don't open up Pygambot first because it won't work. So we click Yes. And here we are. So what you want to do is click on Capture Solving just like normal. These are my death by capture credentials because I was trying to send this to uh, death by capture. But death by capture sucks in my opinion. I mean, sometimes it works for me, sometimes it doesn't. But more often than not, I just can't even connect to their API. And that's with other programs too, like with Ranker X, um, GSA Search Engine Ranker. Like I can't, I don't know, some people like it, but... I used to use it heavily. In fact, I, I subscribed to their gold membership program where you get bonuses for buying a lot of captures, but I don't use it anymore. So what you want to do is hit test connection. As long as your balance comes back 9.99, that means it's connecting to uh, GSA Capture Breaker. But if it, if it comes back anything other than that, you're still connecting to Death by Captcha. So, and this will never change. I mean, it'll always say $9.99 because you have unli essentially unlimited credits. So there you go, just hit save, and then boom, now you're ready. Um, that's pretty much it. If, if you don't own GSA Search Engine Ranker or GSA Capture Breaker, and you're doing SEO and you're building links and things like that, I know people people sit here and say, oh, that's that doesn't work anymore, it's not good. But the reality is, it works. In fact, I have I'm ra I'm ranking sites right now, or I have sites that are ranking right now, that are just ranked with pure spam. 
I mean, you got to do it correctly. I mean, it's not a, you don't just blast links at sites and you certainly don't want to do it on a, a site that you really value. But I mean, if you need to build a lot of links, GSA search engine ranker is probably the, the best bet. It's 99 bucks, but if, oh, and then GSA capture breaker, if you buy it by itself, it's $147. But if you buy it as as a bundle, so you can buy Search Engine Ranker and Capture Breaker together, and it's I want to say I paid two hundred nineteen dollars when I bought it, but it might be different now. But I know that there is a bundle. In fact, I think when you go to purchase Search Engine Ranker, it it's it's like an up Capture Breaker is an upsell, and they give you some sort of a discount. But I mean, even if you had to pay the full price for both items. You're still looking at $246, which, I mean, I've made, you know, way more than that utilizing the, this software. Uh, PygonBot is awesome. It's it's sick. I was using Scrapebox to submit to contact forms, and it just didn't work. I mean, it worked, but there was a lot of a headache that goes with it. But now I use PygonBot, and honestly, I don't use the Scrape feature. I mean, it's there, and it works and everything. I use Scrapebox. So I go out and use the scrape box uh, scraper with the PygonBot footprint, and then I use the scrape box page scanner. But then I run those URLs back through PygonBot. So I click upload uh, upload URLs list. I click smart niche filter, and then I filter it based on the keywords. Um, and you know that's what's working for me because I can run scrape box and be posting at the same time, and it's been it's been killer. I mean, it's been going just so well. I mean, I'm getting people, people contacting me. And what I'm doing is I'm building out landing pages, um, and I'm selling SEO services. So I'm going in through their contact form, and then I'm grabbing their email, and then I've got um, an email platform that. So I'm going back and I'm hitting them through their email as well. So I mean, it's a big, you know, it's a big project. There's a lot of stuff to consider. Um, it's just, there's a lot to, to do with uh, lead generation through PygonBot, but it's one of the most powerful things I've ever used, and I love it, and I'm you know I'm hooked. So I, I appreciate everything, James, and uh, you know I hope you guys find this video useful because I know it'll it'll probably save you a lot of money. All right, thanks.